Yo family, what is going on? It is B, Brian Evans Unleashed here back for another episode. Welcome back to my channel. I hope this challenge has been incredibly encouraging for you. We are still in the 30 day inspiration challenge. We're actually finishing up the last couple days of this challenge. We are on day 29 today. And um, I just want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed to this channel and who have uh, liked, commented, and interacted, and engaged with me throughout this challenge. I really appreciate your support and your feedback and your wisdom. So thank you so very much for all of you who have subscribed already. And if you have not, please feel free to uh, subscribe. Click the subscribe button below. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the bell to be notified of all new content that I'll be releasing. So we are in kind of like a series, a little mini series, dealing with the attributes of God. So yesterday I tackled uh, very briefly just the tip of the iceberg dealing with God's omniscience or the all-knowingness of God. Uh, today I'm going to tackle dealing with the omnipresence of God or the omnipresence of God. So, of course, as we were uh, uh, going over um, omniscience yesterday, um, I went over the prefix omni, O-M-N-I, which basically means all or all directional. Um, so uh, all of these, most of the attributes of God will have omni in front of them, the, the main power attributes. So basically, just to kind of give you a little bit of an overview, uh, the attributes of God are broken down into categories. So you have the power attributes or God's abilities or those things that are just specific to what he can do. Um, and then you have the attributes of care. So you have the attributes of power, you have the attributes of care. Well, the attributes of power are things like his omnipotence, his omnipresence, his omniscience, his omnisapience, those things that only God can be. OK, but then when we get into the attributes of care, we're dealing with things like love. God says, um, you know, that he is he is love. The Bible says that God is love. You deal with grace, mercy, um, and those types of things that uh, basically signify that God is pretty much with us and he has chosen to extend um, the, the care that he wants to provide as a loving father to us. So the attributes of care typically balance the attributes of power, okay? Um, and that's a good thing. <laughs> that is a very good thing. So today I want to deal with... Um, omnipresence and uh, the definition generally speaking of omnipresence is being everywhere at the same time all right so that's typically the definition that we think of when we think of omnipresence but to go a little bit deeper it's not just being everywhere at the same time okay um, although that is foreign to us because we are finite beings, we as humans can only be in one place at one time and that place is where we are at any given moment and we can be nowhere else. All right. So it's kind of foreign to us to think and to try to wrap our minds around being everywhere all at the same time. But let me take you a little bit deeper and, and kind of bend your mind a little bit more. <laughs> so not only is God everywhere. At the same time, meaning his presence is everywhere, uh, all around us, no matter where we are. But he is everywhere at the same time in all of his being, which means that he brings all of himself in every given space. There is nowhere that you can escape God's presence or his sight or his purview. Okay. That's part of his sovereignty. It's part of his godness. God is everywhere at the same time in all of his essence. He is there. Now, this poses a few theological problems that I'm not going to get into in this video because I simply don't have time. There have been volumes and volumes of books and arguments and all types of um, all types of, of study and dialogue from 
I mean, just incredible theologians and scholars dealing with the theological problems that arise as a result of God's sovereignty and his omnipresence and his omnipotence and all of his attributes. Um, I don't really want to get into those because we can go all day trying to uh, debate back and forth. And uh, if you're not careful and if you're not in a strong place of faith, a lot of these debates and arguments can really shake you a little bit. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, my time out, um, you know, kind of entertaining agnosticism and atheism when I had walked away from God years ago. Um, if you want to read more about my story, please pick up a copy of my book, Plug Here, Spirit Paradigm, uh, Encountering God. Go to my website, brianlevans.com, and you get a copy there. But I go into a little bit more detail as far as the uh, atheistic ideology and the arguments against the existence of God. And if all of these things are true about God, these great, wonderful things about God, why does evil exist? Where does evil come from? And if God is everywhere at the same time, why are there hurricanes and tsunamis and earthquakes that kill millions of people? You know, um, so we get into a lot of arguments dealing with the goodness of God, okay, dealing with the greatness of God and dealing with the love of God. And we can debate those all day long. So definitely not the platform here, not the time. But I will tell you that tomorrow on the last day of this challenge, I will be going into omnipotence, the omnipotence of God. And I will kind of dive into a little bit of why these things kind of um, seem hard for us to, to bear and grasp. OK, but for today, just know God's omnipresence means that he is with you. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what you're going through. God is with you and he's waiting patiently for you to simply reach out to him. Reach out to him in prayer. He wants to be engaged. He wants to be chased. So part of God's nature is he loves to be pursued because that pursuit indicates love. It indicates the desire for relationship. And that's why he created us in the first place. Right. So no matter what you're going through, just know God is there. He is present and he is present in the fullness of who he is. All right. So do not allow life situations. Do not allow the enemy to discourage you from reaching out to your father because he is with you. All right. Listen, go out today. Kill it. Slay it. Be great. And remember, be bold. Be yourself and be unleashed. Have an amazing day. Peace and love, good people.